Who are you barking at? They all think I'm feeding them. Java, no. You're very loud. You're very loud. You're very loud. Hey, hey, no. Java, no. You behave. No, I, no. You don't bark at them for no reason. Come on. Come here, Java. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yes, you're not supposed to bark at them for no reason at all. That's not how we do things here. I'm going to learn these things. <laughs> no. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You good boy. You good boy. <laughs> Sorry guys, no food. I'm just gonna let the horses out. Hey Mustard Giddy, what you doing? Yeah, you knew from Giddy. Oh, you're gonna fall down. Up. You're falling down. <laughs> you beautiful kitty. Yes. You behave. No, don't bark at them for no reason. You beautiful kitty. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You want me to pick you up? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're saying? You want me to pick you up? Are you the same height as him? Okay, I better go and let the horses out. I've adjusted their fence. So we're gonna have a mini horse stampede out of the shed. Isn't that right? Are you gonna come up the hill with us? Hello you, how are you? You handsome thing. Okay, go and get to let the horses out after the storm. Oh, I've got to open that gate. Psst, silly me. Come on, let's go. So, just checking these girls. These are the three who came in with Ebony and the fly struck hoggett. And I'm bringing them back down to the field with the other yos. And I'm going to walk and check all the other yo's after the storm, hoping there's no more fly strike. Oh, don't stop right in front of me so I trip over you, Ebony. I mean, not Ebony, a little bit. A little bit, you're cheeky. There, that's closed. All the dogs looking for food. And the ewes looking for food. But we just want to make sure nobody has a fly strike. Come on guys, out you go. And cat, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Maya, leave it. Okay. No, no, keep going. Can you go a little bit further so I can close the gate? Come on. Good girl. Okay, there's yo's up there that I haven't seen yet. Up under the beech trees and chestnut trees. Yeah, old lady. So far, all look fine. How are you, Missy? How are you? You good girl. You're spooked.
Okay. Checking on all these girls. Hopefully, nothing more with fly strike. Do you have any fly strike? Hmm? Do you have any fly strike? How are you, Crystal? How are you, sweetie? How are you? You're fine. Yes. You're fine, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Checking these ladies up here. Hey girls. How are you? Uh -huh. Evidence of fly strike right there on her side. <laughs> She's been scratching herself to get rid of them. And looks like you've had it as well. Oh yeah. No? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, two more fly strikes. Up, three. Hey you, how are you, sweetie? No, maybe she doesn't have it. She had it and I shore it off of her. Okay. Okay, I gotta get all of you guys in and do the few that need shearing. That's gonna be fun. That is going to be fun. Oh. Hey, hey! Yeah, you're itchy. You're very itchy. I'm gonna treat you and fix you. I'll bring them all in and uh, have a good once over. Okay, I gotta let the horses out first. Horses have to come out first, okay? And then I'll bring you guys in and do a job and find out who needs a bit of shearing done. She might just be starting fly strike. She definitely has it. That yeah right there. I don't want them to go too far. So one, two, potentially three fly strikes. Oh, how boring. It's that storm brought in that mild, wet weather. It wasn't cold, it was just wet, windy, and mild. Just leaving to go and do the horses. And I noticed, look at this, these are thistles. The yews are eating the thistles because they're tasty to them because they haven't been polluted with fertilizer. So there's plenty of grass, you can see, plenty of grass. But because the fields haven't been fertilized with artificial fertilizer in years, they now find thistles tasty, just like they find docks tasty, full of vitamins and minerals that they want. So, yes, they eat thistles. That is the evidence. The horses haven't been here in a while. So, and you can see this lot of thistles here. Look at this. Those are definitely eaten by the sheep, not the horses. The horses eat thistles as well. Anyway, there's the flock of lambs down there under the lime tree. I've just walked down the hill and everybody thinks I'm feeding them. We're moving fields. I'll feed you guys later. And I'm gonna bring you guys in soon. To treat with the fly strike victims. These guys, she's having a lovely time lying down there. She's fine now. 
R&R. &R. You guys, I'm going to let you out now. And you can gallop away. Yeah. <laughs> They're gone. No seeing them gallop. You can get down though. Okay, there's one fly strike victim. Her. Here they come. They suddenly realize the gate's open. Okay, there's one old lady who's been going very slowly from the top of the hill. Here she comes. She's the other fly strike victim. I think. Okay. They're all in. Let them eat the reward for coming when they're called. And then I'm going to herd them up the laneway and up to the sheds. Come on. Come on. They're going to go up themselves. Okay, ladies, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, leave it. There we go. Go on a little bit. Go on. I know. You just came down from there. You're like, why am I going back up again? Go on. Go on. Job done for three years. Whoops. So the three years that had fly strike have now been shorn and have had um, click porn on them. And they have to be inside now for a week so that we don't kill any dung beetles. So any pesticide put on the sheep has to be I've got to keep them isolated uh, until the worst of it, they've shat through their system. So I'm going to have to pull this out into the middle so that uh, everybody can have some food. Isn't that right? You're getting very old. Oh, yes. <laughs> they want to go out, but they're not going to be going out, poor girls. I might do a bit more shearing on them, but I just wanted to do the worst bits because they look kind of, they look moth-eaten, particularly these two girls. These were the two girls that were the worst and they look slightly moth-eaten. <laughs> it's all the older sheep. It's, well, okay, the hoggett was a young sheep, but more often than not, it's uh, either young lambs or old sheep. Ebony is an old sheep. So, okay, that job is done today sheep so far um treated they're all following me they know it's time to go out come on girls okay come on girls come 
Mon. Mon. Out of girls. Nah. Hey girls. Come on girls. Sweetie, how are you? How are you? Look at that beautiful bit of lichen. You clever pup, you found me. All through the flock, you found me. Oh, you're so clever. Oh, you're so clever. Yes. Go on. Ugh, gotta step over this. Oh, no, don't go backwards. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoops. Easy does it, Brindle. Good girl. Come on. Okay, okay. Leave it. Come on, little bit. Come on, little bit. A little bit. Brindle. Brindle. Enough. Come on. Okay. Can you move forward? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, a smaller flock. Job done. Finally. Yes, how are you, sweetie? Ear feather, one of the 2020 bottle lambs. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. <laughs>